my dear divyavani viewers welcome to the word of god program we have been following the missionary journey of saint paul we saw how he traveled so much he went to athens he went to corinth and then last week i explained about ephesus the great temple there the great market there and how people really would gather in the temple of artemis or diana and that it was a superstructure considered as a, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world i gave the details about that city the town and where paul had some problem with the jews who really made people turn against to paul various other things happened like the exorcists who were traveling jews who were traveling and making exorcism which he could stop and there were also other people who created problem for paul but all that somehow he managed to face there was a rumor against to paul that he was giving up all uh, law of moses and that was because of the nazarite vow the nazarite vow that was often done by taken by devout jews but paul actually observed all those things he did not move away from the jewish law what people thought was he was taking non jews into the temple and people made unnecessary rumors about him it was something that was wrong but then paul put up with all that the reason was there was one friend of paul a trophimus who was actually an ephesian uh, a gentile whose mother was a jew but that did not make paul take trophimus into the temple and if anyone is taken into the temple in that way the law the penalty was death so in that way the people made a lot of furious attacks against to paul paul was asked to take four nazirite people to the temple which actually would make people realize that paul is following the law of moses all this happened and when that furious attack on paul was there taking place in the temple premises Paul was actually grabbed by the soldiers so that he would be safe he was taken into the barracks into the fort of Antonia one reason for the commander to perhaps suspect Paul was this in the year AD 54 there was a sort of a riot by a group of people mainly egyptians who led a band of armed men to the mount of olives and the leader claimed that he would just make the walls of the city collapse in front of him his followers were dagger bearers they would hide the dagger under their cloak and whenever they get a chance they would just kill people now the romans dealt with this situation very effectively in such a way that the followers were almost all killed but the leader the commander of this uh, riot group he escaped and nobody knew where he escaped to they must have thought that he escaped to egypt 
and or when this disturbance is taking place the commander perhaps felt that that man who led such a riot is come back but then paul confessed paul was asked to reveal his identity paul said i am a roman citizen the commander said i had to buy the roman citizenship at a great cost paul said I am a born Roman. This made the, the commander rather frightened. The reason is the law says that no Roman citizen can be arrested. No Roman citizen can be scourged. And Paul actually questioned the one who scourged him. You are scourging me, a Roman citizen, who is not condemned with that the commander felt that he is in trouble now because if the matter is reported to rome perhaps the commander would lose his job so paul was taken into the fort of antonia was treated well then again there was a court and paul was allowed paul asked for permission to address the crowd that was making so much of noise paul spoke he spoke in hebrew he spoke in hebrew to the jews but to the commander he would speak greek the commander was surprised that paul speaks such beautiful high level greek and that made the commander also feel that paul is someone great paul actually there in his speech narrated how he changed his mind what happened on the way to uh, damascus and till then they listened very carefully patiently when paul spoke about his conversion then they started shouting again not only shouted they waved their garments and threw dust into the air which was the traditional way of showing great protest the commander immediately brought paul into the barracks and in a way the soldiers had a difficult time to take paul into the barracks then when he was there and once again he repeated that he is a roman and all that the commander was really surprised but then what made the jews so angry is the mention of the gentiles the gentiles paul said is blessed by jesus that the gentiles receive the blessings of jesus for salvation now that's the point that the jews could not accept someone who is not circumcised and someone who does not follow the law of moses he cannot be saved salvation is only to the jews who follow all these the mosaic law totally and that is what made the jews shout and rebel all this happened and when they were so angry he was scourged actually scourged in front of the crowd Cicero's law had a very clear statement it is a i quote it's a misdeed for a roman citizen to be bound it is a crime for him to be beaten it is almost as bad as to murder a father to kill him such serious punishments were attached to any punishment meted out to a roman citizen without a proper trial anyway all this happened 
And once again, Paul told the people, I am a Pharisee. I am the son of a Pharisee. I follow the Pharisaic law. And I believe in the resurrection. At this again, there was a dispute, dispute between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. The Pharisees who accept the resurrection and the Sadducees who do not accept this. The Sadducees do not accept the existence of angels or spirits. So, in the meeting itself, there was a split and that caused further disturbance. And the Sanhedrin was there. They also could not stop anything. Paul addressed the Sanhedrin with all these. Paul actually told the Sanhedrin, you are all whitewashed the tombs. The reason for whitewashing the tomb was touching a tomb or a dead body was ritually unclean. And that made Paul say about this. We'll stop for a while. We'll come back after a few minutes. Mm -hmm.